Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will show a homemade water filter system. It's basically a design I saw on YouTube. I'm gonna link to that video how to make that system. I did uh, change it a little bit. I made that parts that go below it. So it sits a bit on it and then I have of course some spare parts in the bag. Basically for storage we're gonna put that up here. So then we have that part that part here that goes below it's pretty watertight so that works we see now below would the water come out we have a top and a pocket below they are the usual orange Home Depot buckets I wish I would uh, find somewhere in USA green ones that that orange stands out way too much. So maybe if somebody uh, know where to get similar food grade uh, buckets in a more more darker uh, color, please uh, let me know. Now I'm gonna quick open the top part of it, and you see how that looks. I reach a bit around the camera that we see how that is. Uh, you will see in the link to the other video how that simple filter gonna go on it. I did uh, use some aluminum parts in there. I did not use the, the castle nut to uh, let the water flow in. Uh, it's, it's a bit uh, more distance in between here and uh, give it a bit more, more hole so more water flow flows in. So basically what you do, you put on the, the two buckets and then you're gonna fill the top bucket with some rainwater. We simulated today a bit with that one. That should be already enough. The whole system of course needs to be a bit on a, on a level uh, ground. I just set it up a little bit. But now we hear already the sound. If the AC would not be that loud we would hear it a bit better. The, the dribbling sound of the water going uh, from the top bucket into the lower bucket. Gonna zoom a bit to it. It's basically going from the top bucket in the lower bucket. The actual flow from the top bucket to the lower bucket is pretty pretty high. The regular filter filter all the debris but because the holes are a bit bigger on that inlet valve the, the flow is, is pretty pretty good. What I did is uh, basically for storage I made that wood part below that goes into the top bucket with the spare parts that is then easy and compact together and with the red valve we can let the water out uh, you can add there a piece of hose that will go in the in another uh, bottle or wherever wherever you wanna wanna put the, the water next for then the, the boiling step. Either you boil it with heat or you uh, put it in the sun to uh, make the water into a drinking water. So we see the, the distance here, 
see the distance here between the, the bottom and here and on top. Uh, basically I made the distance here that as I removed the part here that it would not uh, hit the ground for uh, storage and the water can go a bit up and then it would come out automatically and it would not reach the, the height of the, the water filter that's gonna be hanging in the lower bucket so basically it's like a, like overflow valve a little bit too I don't know if it would affect the the, the filtration if the, the water would be around the, the water filter in the lower bucket but uh, in that system how I made it that uh, would never happen like that as you would uh, leave open the, the red valve it would come out by itself as it's ready Actually, I can do that. Maybe it's already coming out. Like this is open. No, it's not yet coming out, so it needs a bit more time to fill in. Well, we still have a bit water left. I give it a bit more. Hopefully that is enough that the water will pretty soon uh, come out of the lower bucket as it reaches that, that level then it comes automatically then you see how that works. Now for uh, use of that system again you can uh, use the rainwater from a roof that would go directly into the top bucket. You could also uh, mount this device in the middle of four trees and then hang a tarp between the four trees and make a hole in the middle of the tarp so if it rains the, the water would directly go in the top bucket. Depending on the tarp you would get way more rain water into that uh, system by itself. So, so that would, uh, theoretically, you could uh, put that into the forest or between the, the trees at your home and then just leave it there and it would go automatically in there as it rains. And if you have a bit of system, you could make a bit of a system that would uh, fill up uh, another... another uh, bucket or something below so that would all go automatically and then all you need to do is to either heat it up or or uh, put it on the on the sun so most of the micro stuff is dead and you actually can drink that water we still hear the sound of the, the dribbling water so it needs a bit time but uh, it should come pretty soon the water is still dribbling down in the filter system but it's now high enough. I shut down the valve. You see as the valve, the red one is uh, horizontally, it's uh, shut down and as you turn it as the pipe would go then uh, it's open and the, the water would come out. So let's see how that works. I just leave it going in the ground but you see it comes out pretty pretty good pretty well and then of course it reaches that point that point where the water gets below the, the outlet tube and then then uh, it shuts down you can always take out the water the, the rest of the water by simply uh, take off the lower bucket and throw it out like that that is not much of a deal that much about that homemade filter system hope you did enjoy